We're gonna fix the champion. Yeah, we're gonna fix it. Okay, we're gonna fix the generator. Come on with that. There you go. Okay, welcome back. What we're doing is changing the engine uh, champion. So we got the new one here and we're gonna show you this. Now, what I'm gonna do is if you go back to the uh, 100th video, I show you taking all apart. I'm not gonna, this is like watching paint dry, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you the really important stuff. Um, I'm gonna take the, the outside off it and then we'll get down to the motor and Bob's got a stake riding on this that I can do it today. So I'm hoping crazier things have happened. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here we are now. We're 15 minutes into this, or I'll say half an hour just to be, it was really 15. So we got the box off it. Now, the only thing you really have to unhook is the power wires coming from the inverter and the wires going to the engine, right? And then you have to take the motor mounts off and that's exactly what we got sent to us, except for the air cleaner and the muffler. We have to take that off. So we'll take that off now. And then um, that's what makes power. It's just like an ordinary old alternator, right? Now they have a special puller for it, but we'll try to get it off by just prying it off with two screwdrivers. And um, there's the armatures there. And this is a permanent magnet on the outside, right? You see how it just moves a little bit? because the magnets stick to the metal, right? So, yeah. now to get this off, the trick is you put a little bit of WD-40 around the shaft, right? And then you just lightly, lightly pry up with a screwdriver on the edge, and then you just tap it with a hammer really light, and that'll jar that pulley off, that flywheel off there, right? These are all permanent magnets in here on this side. Those are all permanent magnets and they're very strong because that's what makes the field, right? So that's all you do. See how you put the WD in it come right down? Because be careful with the wiring harness that you don't um, damage it. Okay, now for all you gear heads, you're wondering how in the hell the coils up on the top of the engine. This here is the pickup for the magnet. For the ignition and how that works is all they do is on it doesn't matter what it is you can have a smooth surface right and all you need is one spot where it's raised or something a line anything and that'll trigger that mag magnet because it's not the same so that's what fires it that is on the crank side on the delivery side not on the flywheel side or the starter side where the Ignition is right because there's no flywheel on this thing on the front. All it is a big fan. Like we always say Bob's your uncle. That's where we got it to right? It's exactly the same spot We're exactly to the same spot as what the new one came. So this is basically a boat anchor now Okay, so now we're where we're sitting right now. We got the motor strip. We don't need nothing off this anymore um, We're at 26 minutes you, you just double check and make sure all the bolts are tight, right? All the nuts and bolts are tight on it because you never know. One could be loose, right? Just check it just to make sure. It's better to do this than to pull it all apart again, right? So now remember the keyway. Got this here. So we put the wiring and the magnetos back on. Now make sure you don't pinch these wires when you put it back on. Because you pinch the wires, you probably won't be able to figure out what the hell is going on here, man. Make sure them wires aren't under that mount when you put it down. Because if you pinch them, then it goes to ground or something. They still move, right? That's good. Now you got to remember, too, that you put... Um, WD-40 on your flywheel, so you got to make sure you take that off, right? If you look at the flywheel, you notice in here there's a steel boss here, 
with uh, threads in here and there's threads here and here, right? What that's for is they got special pullers that you can screw in there and push on the crankshaft. That's what that's for. Now, when you put this on, you have to make sure that it goes on the keyway, right? And then just tap it down a bit. Now make sure that it still spins after you're beating it. Well, it has to be tight, but they probably want 40 pounds, right? That's about that right there. So there, you got your magneto all back together and you make sure it spins free. Charging system back on. The wires are loose. This is, these are the blue wires and the green that go in there. Those are um, for the magneto to charge, to get it going. This is a ground wire, which goes here. And this is your oil um sentry wire which turns it well i'll show you that on the motor when we take it apart how that works but that's for your low uh, oil light i'll show you how that works and i'll show you why that one failed okay i'll show you that okay so now we got it here so what we have to do is put the cover back on i know you're going to find this hard to believe but this thing only goes on one way sort of Bass awkward of what you think. You think it comes in through the flywheel side and goes across the engine and into the back, but it's exactly the opposite. It sucks the air in and blows the air out to keep the um, armature, because it makes a lot of heat when it's running. It makes a ton of heat. So they got to cool the, the inverter part off, right? Like, I don't know if you people caught on to it yet, but all that really is is a big generator. That's all it is. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a big, it's the same as the alternator on your car. Same thing. It's just put the muffler guards on. Now remember the clip, right? Video I showed you, these are all out of place. So you gotta make sure that little clip is in there, right? So when you put it on, you put it on in such a way, let's pry that out and put it on there. And then you make sure that it all goes in there, just like so. And then you put the bolts to her. Now this piece here is um, from the shroud, from the fan, that the cooling fan for the engine. It blows cold air up into here and through to cool the muffler, right? So you have to make sure this is in place. If this isn't in place, the muffler overheat and then the engine will overheat. So this is your muffler and you gotta check them because sometimes you get a broken baffle in them so what we're gonna do with this is we'll just put a little copper coat on it okay so we're 48 minutes into this or 50 minutes or 60 whatever you want to count I haven't even had a coffee break yet so I think I need a coffee break all right, guys, so I'm, I'm pausing Badge's video here for a moment where he's working on the, uh, on the generator. And I'm going to show you how, because there's Badge there working. You want to see a quick way to make Badge put down a wrench? Watch this. Dirty, nasty taco, Badge. Oh, Dirty, nasty, nasty taco. tacos. <clears throat> Dirty nasty tacos. Dirty nasty tacos? Hey, are these they... dirty nasty? Not like them other ones you got me. No, no. Oh, no. these are Jack in the Box. That's Jack in the Box. Oh, these are dirty nasty tacos. See, the deal is, is I don't like these. Remember? Yeah. The deal is, is that, <laughs> is that they're they're two for buck fifty, and two's not enough. Three's the right amount, but you got to buy four. You got a friend. So, so I eat three. I buy four. I eat three, and I give one a badge. Dirty We're, nasty tacos. We call them dirty nasty tacos. Thanks, Neil. You're welcome, sir. You look like you need. You're gonna make the sandwich, y'all. You don't have it. <laughs> See, I did that just for you, El. Thank you. Did. you. Just for yeah. you. <laughs> but anyway, we're right back to where we were when we started. We got the engine all back together. We got the shroud on. Got the flywheel on. We got the magneto on. The inverter parts are all on. All the wires are there. So now all we have to do is put this in a frame, right? That's all we have to do. So. We're back here. We got it all back together. We got about two hours into it. So you know the generator is good. Like this generator never stopped. It's just the motor. So that's, and 
being bullheaded like I am, I'm not about to throw it in a dumpster just because there is no difference between this one and a brand new one. It's 200 bucks into a $500 generator. You do the math. I think it's a good deal. And the thing just, like, like I always said, this champion, I love this thing. Like this thing is, it always goes, you turn it on, I don't, sometimes I don't even choke it. And it usually goes on the first pole. So, what can I say? Like the things are, are, are the best generator on the planet as far as I'm concerned. No, it doesn't have a remote. And no, it doesn't have a 10 hour gas tank on it. And no, you have to come out and check the oil every once in a while. So what? It's cheap power. I have a video coming up on cheap power. You're going to see this one before the cheap power one. And you'll see that what I'm saying. Like this is twice the price of my cheap power one. But this thing is indestructible. Well, not quite. But at least you can fix the darn thing. So all I'm going to say is another, another mark for champion. Awesome. And I didn't really want to part with my champion. I really... I don't know. I love this champion. It, that's the baby. Leave that with you. And now we're going to take the stay tuned because we're going to take the old motor apart and show you exactly what went wrong with it.